of Color and Light, and here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and today it is on UCS DO, which was just released. Or as of now being released. So on the front of the box here, you see the same episode 9 border that we've seen since last fall, and picture of DO on whatever plant that is. And down in the left corner, minifig DO, Disney logo. Recommended ages is 10 and up, set number 75278DO, and it has about 519 pieces. There's a nice design on the side, and probably noticing how it's quite extra glossy, as some people said in other reviews. Unless if you got some person, you would find out. And on the back, you see DO in a position with the stand and how the features work, and his size of which being 27 centimeters or 10 to 10.5 inches tall, of course. And that's it with the box. And on to the instruction manual. On the front of it, same pictures on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. Then all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And after last fall's wave of set. And then add for the Skywalker Saga game, and also, and how to move the features and the last steps. Okay, hang on a sec. So, first, the witch. So the only main thing included with this set, the witch. Oh, hang on. So, it is which being mini fig Dio. It was just about the same as the one that was included in a couple of last year's sets. Being the Y-Wing, Resistance Y-Wing, and the newer Millennium Falcon. <coughs> oh, hang on. There we go. So as you can see, so same print, same everything as for that. So, and although this somewhere in the middle, this set is in the middle of those two sets. So if you weren't able to get the, any of those two, well, this can be a good option. Well, or if you were to complete the minifig collection of Do, then um, this has the opportunity. You also get his UCS stamp that you can fit the main thing onto. Although it's quite similar to the UCS ports one, but just without the extra tiles to it. If you want to read it, pause and read. And you have a nice picture of him there, and just quite basic. And of course, on those couple of ratcheted uh, plates there. And of course, some rounded slopes, of course, as well as all around, of course. And now to the main part of it, of which being Dio himself. Of which pretty cool for a UCS set. So the bottom part of which, so which is mostly light tan and dark tan. Uh, and plates and slopes there, probably representing the sands of Pasana or whatever else there is. And of course, used pretty well then. On the bottom, just a, a great big plate, of course. But as for the wheel part of it, well, you may, you might ask that, can it roll like the other ones do? Well, not at all. Although, but also a couple interesting use of pieces are like, which if you see in the instructions, is how. And also an interesting it's not a technique on how this works, or get it to work like. Well, if you bought this, you would find out. But a good use of a lot of these uh, slopish pieces then. 
but also, but that, so lots not used on this one, but used really well. Like on this side of it has some, a lot of those kind of grill pieces for greebles and same with some of the lower part of it. And but also a little bit of jagged slopes as well for the other curve effect too. But on the other side of it, which is mostly covered by those like ratchet joint pieces also, but also just as greebly. And but whereas but also has some interesting rubber tube pieces, kind of similar, almost not sure if they're like any much used in like other Technic sets or whatever. Although they also could have used some of the like other two pieces for the Bionicle Tomamari line and other things. But although these do work good. But as for one of the main features is if you push this one up and down, then top part pivots. But not only, but not all the way up and down. And as for the upper part of it, which has some nice use of jumpers and plates, and also a rounded part of it, and the other side also quite the same, and the back just the same. And for the head neck area, which as see, is mainly comprised of like those uh, cone pieces used for the cockpits of the Millennium Falcons, but it's in solid white and has the three lines representing his vision or vision system or something. And the uh, head part of it, which has some sort of venting to it, which is well captures it. And the other function is if you turn another knob and his head spins 360. So there's a bit of a gearbox feature in this part of it. And if, it's used to pretty much perfect and the back head part has a couple more of those grill pieces and the jacket jacket slope kinds and also those rounded tiles of course so you do you have the three antennas which the minifig version lacks a bit and what I kind of don't like about it is why not let the head pivot from side to side? Because on the movie, he does. But I'm sure a lot of you mockers can kind of figure that out, how to do so. So we'll think I kind of the size of it. If you heard the last two UCS ones, like the Porg, and BB-8 of 20, 6, 2017 and 2018. Well, in on the in-movie appearance is like a little smaller than BB-8, although I think they could have made it a little smaller than that and make it more of a 50-60 kind of range. But although I kind of can forgive it, unless if some mockers figure out how to make a larger BB-8, of course, and of course, although he kind of the same, whereas with just with the Porg alone, he kind of a little bit taller than the Porg, whereas they were both uh, 70 or so, but of course, although he uses less pieces, this is in this Actually, kind of a good bit taller and a little better value than it. But uh, yeah. And so now, on to with the final verdict. So, my overall verdict he, I think, a pretty good set. A pretty cool UCS set. Even though he may have been a little lacking in size, but it's forgiven. But also, it does work well next to BB-8 and Porg, fish off the trifecta of the sequel trilogy, of course. And also, some good use of some pieces that can work with mock-making and things. 
And so if you're a well-adored episode 9 and want to get this for the collection, then go ahead and pick them up. And if you want to finish off the sequel trilogy trifecta of UCS sets, then also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about it for this video, and please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching!